G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a really quick one for you guys. It's just to let you know that AD Upgrades is now live. Um, the Wrath of the Lich King version is up and the website is working perfectly. Um, if you used 70 upgrades beforehand, if you use 60 upgrades, um, you can now get a sneak peek into Wrath of the Lich King. Um, if you don't know what this website is used for, it's an amazing gear set um, builder. So you can build your abyss lists. You can use their item database as well. It's really great. It's a real, lot of really useful filtering functions. And then you can also use their talent calculator um, as well. So you can put in your talents and your glyphs and start fiddling around with that with all your different classes that you might have. This is not a sponsored video. It's more just to let you guys know. Um, I didn't see any announcement about this. I'm not on their Discord or anything. But if you didn't know, um, you can definitely check it out. Um, for those of you who have never used a website like this, I'll just give a quick demo on how to use all the different tools um, that it has. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll jump straight to that. Okay, so for those of you um, who want to use this, I'll put a link in the description below, but it's fantastic. I love fiddling around with all the different classes. Classes I don't even have, um, I like to just build sets for and look how cool the gear is or look how um, the different gearing works, different talents, trees and stuff like that. So this is the homepage. Um, if you want to look at their um, gear building section, it's under characters. Don't mind this. I was building a season five abyss list, which will be coming shortly for those rogues out there. But you would create a character. Let's we'll go human. I don't like dwarves. Don't about you. Uh, we'll go warrior. Be class. You can get it however you want, but we'll just make this one best. Oh my god, not PG at all. Talent, let's just say we're arms phase one. Presets, I just always lose it as preset. Um, again, your equivalency point and stuff, just put it on whatever spec you're going. All this um, is fine. You just want to keep all the filters to everything for now. And this is it. I would not use the autofill function. I don't think it's very good. Um, I think it just auto generates based off equivalency points and stuff. So it's not very accurate. Um, but yeah, basically it just works um, just like you would imagine it would. It's very intuitive. You would just put on all your gear. Um, you know, we can do all this and so on. It's very self-explanatory. I know this isn't very informative, but it is very, very, very self-explanatory. Um, you can change all of your attributes down here. So if you didn't really care about how much health you had, you're a bit more of a tank, you can put in your defenses. Helps you really build out any sort of um, crush sets, um, making sure you're you know, a mid set and a threat set. It's really good for that. It has all of the enchants that you could want, um, including all the engineering items. Um, all the tinkers and stuff like that. Uh, for shoulders, for example, you know, you can put in your jewel crafting gems if you're a jewel crafter. If not, it has all of the um, orange and yellow ones. And um, that's because it's an orange slot. So if you wanted to see all the colors, just you didn't really care if you were matching sockets or anything like that, you would just tick all colors. And that will show you all the colors. Um, it's got like a, a stat weighting system here. Um, not necessarily be all and end all, you, know, you don't always have to go with what gives you the highest um, yield. Um, gem for what you think um, most of the time. Obviously, armor pen is very, very good for warriors. Um, but again, I'm no warrior expert, so maybe strength is better in phase one. I'm not sure, but we'll just go with what it says is the highest at the moment, which is armor pen. You know, if you were a leather worker, it would have your leather work, or your inscription rather, your inscription. Enchant, um, that's there as well. So you go ahead and equip that. If you're not, just get your Sons of Hodia one as well. Really, really nice. Everything, they haven't missed anything. You know, if we went to gloves here, so we do gloves. We have all of our regular enchants, but then we also have hand mounted pyro rockets or um, hyperspeed accelerator as well. Boom. So everything there works perfectly. Fiddle around there. Make sure you're getting all your stat weights, that kind of thing. And I will mention as well, if you are building a gear set, make sure you're doing your talents as well. 
as a lot of the talents will have um, hit rating increases in them as well. So it might be a little bit inaccurate if you're not doing your talents and you're like, why do I have no hit? I don't know if it's the same for Warrior, but for Rogues, for example, you know, you get five out of five precision. And that will come up here and hit chance as well, giving you a much more accurate result. So this is the database portion of the website. It's really, really good. I actually kind of prefer it to Wowhead. I find the Wowhead database can be a little bit clunky if you're applying filters and stuff like that. Um, and especially if it's all in the one website, you know, if you're doing your data, your character building in one thing, you can go to the database on another. So for example, let's just say we're a hunter. We're only interested in phase one stuff. And we want to find out what the best shoulder pads that we can get from dungeons. Really early phase one, we want to know where I can get some really good, sweet looking shoulders. Put shoulders in, male, obviously. Uh, quality, I'll just leave it. That would be, you know, rare, epic, that kind of thing. And it will show us all the different um, shoulder pads that we can get and where they drop. And obviously their level requirement as well, which you can um, adjust here. Similarly, you know, you could add in check the quest one as well in case there's some really good quest ones. There's not, but again, you get the idea. Um, any PO, uh, one thing I also like to do is reputation. Are there any good reputation shoulders? Sweet, so now I need to know, okay, great. While I'm doing my Nice the Blade grind for the enchant. I also get these awesome shoulders as well. So now I'm, I can prioritize Knights of the Inblade first because, you know, I get two items from the one every reputation, that kind of thing. Use it intuitively like that. We also have our talent tree, which I think is um, self-explanatory. Again, we're a hunter. Can fill around with all those. All the glyphs are working as well. And again, I know something like Wowhead has this um, working as well on their website, but I quite like having it all under the one roof. Something sort of Wowhead hasn't really done is this character building element, which is really, really nice. And it will save it as well. Especially if you register, you can obviously save all your sets across all your different characters. And there's also an import function if you wanted to import all your 70 gear sets as well. But that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a quick one today. It's more of a public service announcement more than anything. Um, you know, I love websites like this one. I love building gear sets for all my different characters, regardless if I plan on playing them in Wrath of Lich King. It's always just fun, or, or fun to mess around with this list and tweak things here and there. But definitely, I'll put a link to the website in the description. Share it to your friends. Share it to your guild discord. Show it to your mum. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, do subscribe. I release a lot of Wrath content at the moment. But until the next video, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.